Fantastic Extras. In this video I'm just going to show you how to load an EPS file into Apple Pages. Now to do that just go to insert and choose. It's the key one. And I've got some EPS files here. These ones are on the Graphic Extras website, graphicextras.com. And just EPS files, you can find them in the font sets as well as some of them in the custom shape sets as well. So there's a whole range of different sets with these designs will actually indicate on the uh, website which ones have the EPS, which ones don't. So here's all the various designs. So you can just select the EPS file, insert, and there you have it. And it's uh, a vector design, so you can just stretch and just modify it. And you can go over here, you've got styles, you can add a style to it. You can move it around within that range. You also can rotate, so you can actually rotate the design, so you can move it around a bit. Double click on that, move it around so you can just crop it a little bit. So, done. Now, if you actually want to color the design, now that's one feature unfortunately you don't seem to be able to do. And a quick way of coloring it is not particularly ideal, and that's to use the shapes. So, you can just add, actually add a quick shape. Obviously, you can rotate that as well to the same angle. So, I'm just going to Rotate that around, not exactly correct, but I'm just going to resize. And you can move it over, obviously, over the shape. And then you can just go to style and opacity. And then you've got a sort of not particularly brilliant way of recoloring a design in Apple Pages, the EPS vector designs. Anyway, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.